It's December 8th and interruption, but we're doing it live. It's December 8th, 2011, and the game industry can suck my balls! This is Mystery Rage Theater with Chaz. Who's going? Oh, wait, wait, darker, darker, and go first. And darker is joining in. And this is Mystery Rage Theater 3000 with your co-co-host, Beta Rage One. Ah, oh, Beta Plus One. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> uh, the industry has pissed me off so much. Now, I was on Twitter when I saw a post from Nash of that guy with the glasses. That come. Uh, posting a link about uh, Microsoft doing some very annoying douchebaggery. And I just snapped. I, I got so fed up with it because in the game industry news, there's been nothing but full on douchebaggery. And there are three stories that I remember reading that uh, we're going to reread or try to read briefly, and then we'll discuss. So, once again, welcome to Chat Mystery Rage Theater with Chaz, Darkroon, and Betaflex. Our topic today, the game Wait, industry's... The game industry. Bunch of fucking douchebags. Ah, that topic. Ah, yeah. the topic that goes into topics. I like it. Yep. So, this one's going to be a long one, likely a multi-parter. So, uh, we're going to go in chronological order here, with a uh, story from Joystick, November 18th, 2011. Um, also, I, it's not it's going to slightly not be in chronological order when we get to the second story, because the second story spawns the entire year, almost. But anyways, uh, the first story is Nintendo, EA, Sony sponsored the Internet Censorship Bill. If you remember the Internet so Censorship Bill as the SOPA Protect IP Bill that will censor the Internet and eventually cause the apocalypse, or at least part of it. So, reading from this story, SOPA, the Stop Online Piracy Act, is a bill currently in U.S. Congress with a stated goal of curtailing copyright infringement, both the actual effects of setting up a government firewall to block out unwanted sites, and giving U.S. jurisdiction over foreign sites to have anything to do with infringement of U.S. copyrights. It's repellent. A Reddit user discovered a document PDF hosted by the Global Intellectual IP Center, Global, from, from before the indoctrination of SOPA, urging Congress to enact such a measure. Among those corporate sponsors is Nintendo, who is, de who is demonstrably and justifiably upset about piracy and commented and committed to taking all the wrong steps to stop it. Other companies signing in favor of the anti-rogue site legislation in the interest of protecting their IP online include Sony, Sony Electronics, Sony Music, Sony Pictures separately. EA is also listed, the douche fags they are, along with Rite Aid, what, and Zippo, what? Okay, so you already know how we feel about this thing. If, if you feel the same way, you can write or call Congress. November 16th is... Saw concerted stop censorship efforts, and blah 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 blah. And, and there's two updates. We're added a link to the Reddit post, and it also appears that Apple, Microsoft, and a variety of other tech companies are supporting the bill as well via a lobby group named the Business Software Alliance. So, um, okay, the for one personally, this depressed the shit out of me when I found out that Nintendo was supporting this thing. I mean, in business sense, yeah. I mean, you'd want to... They would They would do this. But, as the article also says, they do, they're do. they doing it in the most wrong way imaginable, because if anyone's been paying attention to, this, to what SOPA is, it, it's essentially internet blackmailing... Bla not blackmailing, blacklisting, where... The short end of the stick is that corporate will control the internet, Big Brother style, and uh, they can block any site you go to, and they can sue any site that ha that contains copyright infringement, like YouTube, or maybe that guy with the glasses, if they wanted to, if this thing went into motion. 
So you would see, you know, stuff that was normally uh, it was normally supposed to be protected under uh, the Free Use Act, I believe, or something like that. The f the, the Fair Use Agreement, or God, I don't even know the exact name, but the Fair Use thing, and that's kind of just thrown out the window with the with this SOPA bill, because um, it's like, oh hey, we uh, here's a AMV with uh, say uh, some Ooh. random some random Hollywood vi video. And uh, said Hollywood director, studio, whatever, sees, finds out about this video, it's like, F fuck that, they're copyright infringing us, little bitches. And then they'll, uh, they will uh, attack YouTube, the video will get taken down, and YouTube itself could even be taken down with little to no fight back, I believe. Um, so it's, it's a bad thing. It would, uh, it would, it would cause the most chaos and anarchy ever because it essentially kills the internet, and it's so blatantly, it's so fucking blatantly tiered towards corporate. And corporate is, if anyone's been t paying attention to other things outside of video games involving corporate, corporate's ruining the fucking U.S. But that's an entirely different story, so we'll not go there. Uh, so anyways, beta flux. I it it's pretty much corporate and government coming together to act like okay we're going to fuck the people over time and time again as they've been doing for the past several past years years. people have been up it's to almost seems uh, current like events. Sort of... It's just absolutely fucking ridiculous. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, ridiculous. It's right there in plain writing that we fucking hate the people and we're going to show it by saying guess what. We don't give a shit about you guys. If you're doing something we don't like, we're going to take you down. And we got all this legalese to do it. Which I do wonder, where is it even in the power of Congress to say, yes, we can actually make laws that do this? Also, joining us in our uh, thing here, out of from nowhere, is uh, Coda the Lulzy. Welcome, Coda. Indeed. But uh, we'll update you, Coda. We. Uh, I a, uh, I saw a twit from Nash of that the guy with the glasses about a story about Microsoft uh, doing some very douchebaggy things with the Xbox Live, and mm. I snapped, and oh hey Mater, welcome to. And everyone suddenly yeah, dies. welcome. We're recording. My God, <sighs> you're still recording. It's what been you, over half an hour. What do you mean still recording? <laughs> you just began you like a few minutes ago. You said you were going. Yeah. To on the subject of that bill involving soap and everything, it almost seems like some sort of just general distraction to keep people from realizing some bigger problem. It's just like saying, "Oh boy, we've got you got insert very bad thing here. Hey, let's just come up with this little distraction bad thing." It's it's kind of like the elephant made to distract you from the blaze from your house burning across the street. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's meant to be as much of a distraction as in my eyes because. Why would this just suddenly go? There was no real problem involving this, and I don't even know anymore. Right. Well, the, the sad part is, Coda, this really could be a distraction for bigger things such as world events, but also they're striking something that's very important. So you either A, ignore SOPA, and that passes and fucks us all over, and while we try to figure out what bigger things are going on, or B, we focus on SOPA, trying, pr trying to protect what the real the real source of legitimate news that we have nowadays since the corporate <coughs> media can't do its job and then something big happens and we don't even notice or C which also take, which will take a lot of time and resources fuck you of S I don't care that you've updated your database <laughs> the option C being we have to figure out what's going on while we're on top of that it's basically the corporate the corporate world through government and through well, but yeah, basically through government, through legalese loopholes, they're basically striking us on all, striking the people on so many fronts that it can overwhelm people, make them wonder, what do we do? They're doing all this shit. The sad part is, the only answer you have for that, you have to do everything. Mm. They make, they're making, they're making the people have to do everything, even though that the people don't have the time and resources that the corporate world does. Because after all. Corporate world has so much money and manpower, they can just do whatever they please while money. all of us are average Joes. They're working, looking for work, 
or just down shit face broke that we hardly can do anything about it. It reminds me of uh, this one pastor, or I think it was Lindsay Williams. Is that the pastor? Yeah, that's the pastor. He says, like, the goal of the elite is to make people so poor that they can't protest. Hmm. Right then. Well, I think we I think we pretty much covered everything on SOPA, how much it, it is sucks. And uh, it, the funny thing is, is that it's going to shoot corporate in the foot because Internet is the economy right now in, uh, in America, I believe. And in some parts of the world as well. So it's, um... It's, Onward to electronic assholes. Yeah, they're, these, the bill is pretty much made by people who don't fucking understand how detrimental the internet is to our daily lives now. But, um, that's about it. I think I'll cut the part here. So, when we return after these not-so-commercial messages, uh... We will go on. We will we'll, we'll go on to the douchebaggery that is electronic arts. And my God, my God, it is an entire year of bullshit. Stay tuned. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Lord. You guys said you're going to start. You guys 